You might not be aware, but Cadillac is going to introduce a new product every six months for the next few years. This is the newest entry from Cadillac, the X-T4. The X-T4 enters the fastest growing segment of the market, the small utility, competing with vehicles like the Audi Q3, BMW X1, and the one that has a strong following already, it's the new Volvo XC40. So this new small Cadillac is in tough with some heavy hitters, but one thing this utility's got going for it, style. The X-T4 will be sold with two distinct design themes. The first is the luxury line, with traditional styling cues like more chrome, polished wheels, and a classy look. The second is the sport line, with bigger wheels, less chrome, and a more assertive look and stance. The back of the X-T4 is a little bit on the small side. I recently had a chance to drive the new XC40 from Volvo, and that rear cargo area was definitely more useful than this one. What Cadillac has done, though, is to slide the rear seats back a bit to provide what they say is class-leading rear legroom. The problem is that there will be so many new entries into this class that a claim like that can fade quickly. The front is a nice surprise. The dash and the materials are nicely put together. One of the main differences with the X-T4, though, is in the infotainment system. It's a new one, and now it's controlled by a wheel in the center opposed to a trackpad, which is a big improvement. And it comes standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. One thing that I really noticed since it's really cold out right now, these heated leather seats and heated leather steering wheel, they turn on by themselves when it gets to a certain temperature, which is really nice. Also, this one's equipped with the new rear view camera mirror, a simple flick, and now you have a wide view of the rear, regardless if you have people or cargo behind you. You guessed it, just like everyone else in the industry, this new X-T4 uses a two liter turbocharged four cylinder, but this one has a few tricks. The engine is rated at 237 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, which is on par with many in this class. What this engine has is electronic actuators inside it that move the cams, giving you different profiles. So you have a profile for fuel savings, a profile for power, and even a profile to deactivate two cylinders under light load. And let me tell you, when that happens, it's undetectable. Cadillac also has a new in-house nine-speed automatic to get this small utility down the road with no effort at all. Because the engine produces 100% torque at just 1400 RPM, the transmission is a real star here. But Cadillac didn't go far enough in terms of steering. It has a little bit too much of that traditional Cadillac light steering feel, which doesn't give a lot of feedback to the driver. You can go for the Sport model, which gives you adaptive suspension and larger wheels, and that does help, but not quite enough. I can see why this category is blowing up. This X-T4 is the perfect size for an urban utility. It conquers those small parking lots with ease, and this Cadillac around town is actually fun and zippy to drive. The X-T4 is offered in a front-wheel drive configuration, but most Canadians are going to buy the all-wheel drive, which starts at $38,000. This one here is the Sport all-wheel drive. It starts at $43,000, but when you add up all the options, it can get expensive. This one sits at about $63,000. The X-T4 is a great start for the renewal of Cadillac, but stick around because Cadillac's got a lot more to come.